What's up, fellow YouTube modeling group? Well, it's Chuck back with Chuck's Hobby Spot. Well, like I said in the last video that you seen, I was gonna uh, do another video about another project I'm starting. And this is our group build for, another group build for our, um, for our Model Car Mafia yearly group build. And we're gonna do one of these every year. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna make this a tribute to Brad Norgard, so which is a pretty awesome thing to do uh, a, a video every year, or not a video, but a, a build every year for for something like this. And uh, this kit that they picked was pretty interesting. When I heard that they picked it, I was like, ah oh, man, what am I gonna do with that? And then I started thinking, whoa, hit the brakes here. Uh, Oh, my mind just overloaded and got, I was like, oh, okay, now I'm excited again. So, um, as you know, from the last video, I think you all know what it is. It is the GMC Jimmy by AMT. So we're going to do something very cool with this, this here kit. It's not going to be like it's not going to be like the box. I mean, if you guys want to see it like the box, change the channel because you know it's not going to happen. You are at Chuck's Hobby Spot. So anyway, so I'm thinking about getting rid of all the four-wheel drive suspension, taking that top off, uh, pro street knit. Yes, indeed. So, uh, I have ideas in my head, something like this. Okay, what do you think? Uh-huh, that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, let's let's turn this camera around. Let's turn it around, open the box, see what's inside this Jimmy, and uh, see what we're throwing away, like 90% of the kit. So follow me, guys. All right, guys. Um, this kit here, I don't even know where I bought it at. Um, who knows where I bought it? Maybe, maybe at Hobby Lobby? I'm not sure. So let's, let's, uh, open this kit. So these kits are usually in everybody's stash because they're, everybody bought them. So. You guys want to take a look at the box first? This is the contents of the box. Which... It's gonna... Not look like this, guys. So... Mm, some of the stuff we'll use, some of it we won't. So let's go ahead and open this, this box. See what we got in here. That's weird that this kit is kind of yellowed. I don't even know how many of the decals we'll use, but. Let's check it out. So, let's start with the body. Body is our foundation. I should have pre-cut everything, but it shows you guys that I am looking at it for the first time with you guys. So, here is the body. I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'll keep it, if I'll sand it out. Time will tell. Looks like it's probably best just to sand it out of here. Do we cut the fender wells out or do we leave them? I can imagine um resin aftermarket 3d printed 
motor in here. Big Pro Street tires on the back of that. Put down with a tonneau cover maybe in here. Maybe a roll bar coming up, I don't know. My imagination's going just like your guys. Uh, here's the, the interior tub. Which I can work with that. I might shave it down and maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I have plenty of time. I have a year to build this thing. Um, probably lots of changes to the kit gonna happen. Uh, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot, a few builds at once going on in this in this shop. So what I don't understand is what's the deal with this yellowing here? I mean, not a big deal. We're painting this stuff, but that's weird. It's just bizarre. Like it was sitting in the heat or something. I don't know. So that's okay. I don't think we're using that piece anyway. But the hood, which we will probably be cutting some of this hood out. Maybe we'll even, I don't know, graft a cow hood on here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. But uh, it's not going to stay stock. So let's just say that. Seats probably aren't going to be used. We're probably going to put some uh, buckets with the uh, five-point um, harness in it and stuff. Um, what's this stuff? Looks like consoles or something. Stuff we're not going to use. We're not going to use any of this stuff. So Most of this kit, we're not even going to use it. The frame. Ah, you know, I have ideas. I don't even know if I'm using this frame here. So, definitely not using the exhaust. Probably not gonna use this frame. So this tree probably gonna get thrown in the trash. Probably not gonna use any of these on this build, but we'll open them anyway so you guys can see it. Just in case you guys are gonna build it the way it's supposed to be built. <laughs> Not the way it's supposed to be built. The way it's supposed to be built is the way Chucky does it. Nah, everybody builds their way, so. Let's see. Um, leaf springs, ugly. Probably not going to use them. Not going to use the rear end. Da, 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 da. Not going to use any of this crap. Probably not using none of that. Are we using any of this? Yeah, maybe a couple pieces. And the engine, probably using something, just not this. If, if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you guys will see that I'm 3D printing a big block I already did by Scale Speed Garage, and maybe that'll go in here. I'm not so sure yet. See how it fits, see what it looks like. We'll mock it up, and then we'll... Maybe we'll mock one of Joel's up. And we'll check it out. We'll see. You never know what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll we'll mock one of uh, VCG resins. I have no idea. But I'm leaning towards Scale Speed Garage because I already got it printed. Now, the grill is pretty nice. I'll definitely use that. Maybe I'll use it and maybe put a billet grill in the middle. I don't know yet. So we'll see. That parachute on there. We're not using it, but... That's kind of odd. Some of this stuff we're not going to use. We'll probably use the bumpers, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll put a roll pan back there. Who knows? These wheels are probably good for something. But not this. So let's see. Uh, let's check out the tires. So obviously you got the steel um, bars for the wheels. You go through the chassis or whatever you guys are gonna go through the rear end and all that other crap. The wheels are actually pretty nice. It's a little cheater slick or something. Race master. Look how nice they are. They're actually pretty nice. I, I will say that with this kit. They are actually. Nice. We're not going to use them. 
they'll be used on something else but not on this kit even the regular road tires are nice they're pretty nice i mean they there's always a spot somewhere in this i mean we can throw a set of craters in here i don't know what this stuff is on here but we we're gonna paint these anyway another roadmaster slick a uh, race master sorry it's pretty crazy they gave you four of these things. Okay. And then you get two more of the street tires. Pretty cool. And everybody wants to see the instructions. Or not the instructions, but the decals. And we're going to have a few things going on in this shop at one time. So this is a dull, dull, dull blade on here. So, But it still can hurt you. So. Um, and this is going to be one of probably four things. And these decals are pretty, actually pretty nice on this kit. Round two did a pretty good job with these decals. Wow, there's a lot you can actually do. I mean, this this is interesting. You know what it is? This is kind of a cool four-wheel drive kit. So whoever's going to build this thing as a four-wheel drive, build it like the Swamp Gasser or something, that would be kind of cool. Chicken Gin. Hmm. Jimmy. Kick me in the Jimmy! <laughs> yeah, this has got some pretty cool decals i mean even the dash decals are pretty pretty neat actually good to have in your collection the, the whole sheet is very very nice great job mt let's check oh wrong one wrong one let's check out the gmc truck and it tells you uh how this kit can be built Stock engine, the drag engine, which we're gonna go ahead and, and, and build our own engine and stick it in here. Um, but this is kind of a cool option to have two engines for this. So, I mean, if you guys are just gonna build the kit the way you guys want to, th this kit can be pretty cool. Chassis, which I don't think we're using it, but this is for you guys that are using it. It seems like a basic build. Pretty straightforward. Um, if I was to, to build a straightforward kit, this would be fairly simple. Gives you the paint colors for the color code on here. Let's see what's on the other side here. The body tells you about how that goes together. The top, the tailgate. Final assembly. Pretty cool. Overall, pretty cool kit. Pretty cool. Um, so, that is what's in the box. So, back here, can you see that? Look, remember I told you there'll be hints of what I'm going to be doing in the shop? There's your hint. So, uh, there you go, guys. So, that's one of the secret builds back there. So if you paused it, blew it up, you can probably tell what I'm doing. So um, there's going to be two secret builds in the shop. So we'll give you hints here and there so you guys can see. But anyway, we're going to end this video. So why do you watch this crap? And I'm glad you do, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, leave me a message. And uh, we'll see you in the next vid. Bye now, guys.